Okay, so let's have a quick look at the cut and reverse drill. First thing we're going to do, set my order quantity to 1. Market's obviously moved down, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go short first. And then I'm going to set my order quantity to 2. And at some point I'm going to have to take a long trade. Okay, so we can see some absorption there. So what we're going to do... We're going to take a long there, so now we're long 50-44. Obviously, if I'm wrong about that absorption being a turning point, I'm going to have to reverse and go short again. Okay, so market's breaking down. There we go. So, took the short again. And again, got this absorption here. Mark's obviously hitting some headwinds. Okay, we'll try and... We've had this 104 here, so let's try and take a long... Yeah, okay. So now we're playing the same trade again. We've seen that absorption here, so we're trying to take a little bounce. We've still got momentum to the downside. but we're expecting a little bounce. See, there's not much size on the upside. Come, we need a little bit more hitting into this side. This is a slow time of day. So it's um, 9 p.m. Eastern time uh, that I'm doing this. Still a tradable time because Asia's open, but it's not really um, the kind of speed that you'd see uh, in a US market on crude. And obviously this is a bit of a problem because We've seen a lot of people hitting to 50-40 and they're not getting anywhere. Okay, now they're getting somewhere. So we can see the, you know, the shift of tradings moved on to the buy side. And while that's the case, we're going to stay long. And we're looking for that to fade away. Now, obviously, we can see we've got these hundreds here. And then all of a sudden, we've only got three and nine here. You know, the market's at a quiet time, so it's not going to be... You know, this frantic imbalance all the time or this you know big imbalance all the time don't know where the word frantic came from there there's nothing frantic about this market so again 87 you know we can see this absorption here so again that could be you know the end of that move up and again it might be time to go short again Okay, so got good momentum, so a good size on the upside. But I'm, you know, I'm expecting overall momentum to the downside still. So I'm expecting this to fail. I'm just waiting for that to happen. And we can see the adding here. So they've added 70 contracts to the offers. 106 I'm gonna say just short term I'm gonna say right short term I'm expecting reversal down from there okay and looks like maybe I'm wrong let's give that a little chance to work out otherwise we're gonna go long as it breaks up when these guys stop out So we really want to see market start to, to move down. So it's not, it's, we had 35 hitting to there. They're not really hitting into that. We want to give it one more chance. We've got to watch here now. So we're watching, it could explode upwards now. We, we're kind of downside bias, but we really need some, see some contracts hitting into here and for us to get that, the start of that momentum down, we're not getting that. We're really risking it here that, you know, the market could really start to 
you know, to drive up because we're not managing to get anything to the downside and because with the hundred odd contracts trade on the bid side. Okay, see, it just doesn't want to go down. Just They just don't want to push it down. So I think that was a good reverse at 50.44, but I think it's just give it another chance. It's just not going to happen. And again, part of this cut and reverse really is to actually make sure that you're not the deer in the headlights, uh, you know, just sitting on stuff, you know, hoping hoping that uh, Mark is going to turn. It kind of makes you a bit more brutal in terms of, you know. Okay, so let's go to switch to long. See, so what we did there, we, we entered a short, we went to short, we saw that there, there was no, uh, there was no real energy to the downside, even though we did potentially have some trap traders there. So now we're not going to, we're not going to hang on to that position forever. Now we've, ter we've turned, we've said, right, the, the sellers have had a good chance. They didn't get anywhere. So now we want the buyers to step in. Yeah, okay, just need to see these guys pop. Uh, this point is pretty tough, and obviously you get to the point where you don't really know, um, you know, which way it's going to go, and that's kind of normal in trading to not know whether it's going to go up or down. This is just this is actually forcing you to have an opinion. Okay, so we've got the 113 traded there. Couldn't trade up through that. Again, what we want to do is just acknowledge this 113. Uh, this buy there, that is potentially some trap traders there who may well want to unwind if the market pushes down. So we're not going to let this push too far against us because of that size. But again, we are still slightly, well, we're kind of about even, 200 here and 200 here. So we've got this cluster of positions we've just built and that's going to, it's going to work its way out one way or the other. Obviously, if we can get above this step in the profile, we've got well, maybe this step as well. We've got a run potentially to 50.65 there, but with this decision point here, um, a place where typically you wouldn't take a trade in the middle of a decision point. If we want to go long, 50.39 would be a good long there. Um, you know, maybe a short at 50.55 or even a short at 50.45. You know where this step in the profile is. So it's not a good, great place for a, a long from a longer term perspective, but that's not what cut and cut and reverse is about anyway. Okay, so are we going to break up? Doesn't want to. There you go. That's what you want to see. You want to see. Okay, we we tick up, and immediately after you tick up, you see a bunch of contracts trade. Really nice thing to see. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll stop the video there. There's not re no real point in us carrying on doing this forever. Um, but just want to show you the kind of the way the cut and reverse works. You know, you can't um, you can't go flat. You're not allowed to go flat. You've got to stay in and just try and um, you've got to anticipate to a degree. You are you are kind of trying to chase overall momentum, but you do have to try and anticipate and get used to anticipating. You know where those turning points are in the market again it's not that difficult it's just a matter of practice anyway thank you for watching and uh, i'll see you in another video i guess